What's going on, Forward Family? Forward Fabian, I'm back with a video for the channel. I'm actually doing a reaction to Don McLean, American Pie Live at BBC in 72. So American Pie, signed by singer-songwriter Don McLean, recorded and released in 71 on the album of the same name. The single was the number one U.S. hit for four weeks in 72, starting January 15th. After just eight weeks on the U.S. Billboard charts, where it entered at number 69. The song also topped the charts in Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. In the UK, the single reached number two where it stayed for three weeks on its original 71 release. So basically, bottom line, the song was a banger. <laughs> so uh, the last I recall of doing this was actually, I think Home Free did a cover and they actually did a, a version of American Pie with Don McLean a few years ago. So that should actually be in my Home Free playlist, man. But like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Oh, Long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. Mm. And I knew if I had my chance that I could make those people dance, and maybe they'd be happy for a while. But February made me shiver with every paper I deliver. Bad news on the doorstep. I couldn't take one more step mm. I can't remember if I cried when I read about his widowed bride But something touched me deep inside the day The music died So bye-bye, Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee Hey. Love and do you have faith in God above? If the Bible tells you so. Now, do you believe in rock and roll? Can music save your mortal soul? And can you teach me how to dance real slow? Well, I know that you're in love with him because I saw you dancing in. Dang, everybody know all the words. <laughs> she said. <laughs> hey, the gang showed up. I remember there was like a parody version of this growing up. I think it had something to do with Star Wars. Like it slowly but surely coming back to me, but the cadence for this song, very familiar, right? But the origin of it being Don McLean way before my time, you know what I'm saying? So through through a lot of these reactions and context, you know, like I said, doing the home free, I was able to kind of understand who Don McLean was. Obviously, this is a very popular song, right? Um, but to even talk about some things in association right so face value a lot a lot of people probably wouldn't understand that he essentially drew inspiration from um uh the plane crash that killed you know buddy holly richie valens and the big bopper it says he drew inspiration from the song from his childhood experience delivering newspapers during the time of the crash so he said he first found out about the plane crash when he was a 13 year old newspaper delivery boy in new york carrying bundles of local standard star papers that were bound in twine and then he saw it on the front page. So when he's talking about like the widow, I wonder if he's specifically talking about these guys here, you know, and um, but he, he'd have to be right. Very young, very insightful, 
at that age for that to hit him and kind of he drew inspiration at 13 years old to kind of culminate this song that's kind of you know that's kind of like a wild type of thing She like, don't put me on camera. <laughs> So that plane crash, he equates it to the day that music died, you know, and I could kind of understand the context a little bit. Because I think obviously during that time, Buddy Holly was uh, something to be talked about, you know, um, and you'll find a lot of artists that he pretty much kicked the doors down and uh, uh, was very inspirational when he was doing what he was doing. Right. So um, McLean's response when asked what American Pie meant, he jokingly repi replied, that means I don't have to work again. I don't want to. Later, he stated, you'll find many interpretations of my lyrics, but none of them by me. Sorry to leave you all on your own like this, but long ago, I realized that songwriters should make their statements and move on, maintaining a dignified silence. He also commented on the popularity of his music. I didn't write songs that were just catchy, but with the point of view or, or songs about the environment. Sound like he was an environmentalist. Uh, you know? Let me know additional... Uh, Don McLean songs I should be checking out. You know, list down below some of y'all's favorites, some songs that may be uh, specific along the lines of this. You know, is he if he's talking about envi the environment? You know, it sounds like he's a real. Um, what's the word I'm looking for, man? I don't even know why it's not coming to mind, but y'all see what I'm trying to say. Y'all see what I'm trying to say. But comment down below y'all's favorite Don McLean songs. <laughs> <laughs> Why they look like that? Like, are y'all at a show or is y'all being held captive? Look at her face. Like something very sinister is happening currently. My guy right here, though. Buddy singing along, man. Sing it, brother. Sing it. Y'all gonna do us like that mid performance, man. Oh, and there we were all in one place, a generation lost in space with no time left to start again. So come on, Jack. Fire is the devil's only 
clenched in fists of rage No angel born in hell Would break that Satan's spell And as the flames climb high into the night To light the sacrificial rite I saw Satan laughing with delight in the day I guess nobody wants to sing those specific lyrics like, this will be the day that I die. You know what I'm saying? They're like, nah, I ain't saying that, Don. <laughs> so there are several parodies and revisions. So Weird Al Yankovic is the one that recorded a parody of American Pie, The Saga Begins. Recounts the uh, plot of Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. See, I knew that somebody had done one in association with Star Wars, and lo and behold, it's... Um, Weird Al Yankovic from the point of view of Obi Wan Kenobi, because I remember the lyrics was like, "This to be the, this would be a day I become a Jedi." Instead of "This will be the day I die," it was like, "It's the day, the day I become a Jedi." That sounds so off, but I forgot how it went. You know what I mean? Like, I met a girl who sang the blues, and I asked her for some happy news, and she just smiled and turned away. And I went down to the sacred store where I'd heard the music years before. But the men there said the music wouldn't play. And in the streets, the children screamed, the lovers cried, and the poets dreamed. But not a word was spoken, the church bells all were broken. And the three men I admire most The Father, Son, and the Holy Is he crying? Why they or is he sweating? The train for the coast the day The music died And they were singing By this American pie I drove my Chevy to the levee Soon I will be a Jedi. This will be the day that I die. They were singing bye bye, Miss American Pie. Oh, the Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. And good old boys are drinking whiskey and rye. And singing this will be the day that I die. got a whole standing ovation man or at least that's what it sounds like don mclean ladies and gentlemen american pie live at bbc in 72 so this is uh a lot of certifications man a lot of accolades tied to this song so comment down below like i said let me know y'all's favorite song your favorite uh music from don mclean and we'll see you on the next video man peace love prosperity we out